Guinness Stout and Chocolate are an incredible flavor combination. We'll show you how to make a delicious pudding with these. Roughly chop the chocolate. We used 85%. We love our cutting board from Stinson Studios. Add 150 grams of unsalted butter into a medium-sized heat-proof bowl. Add the chocolate and a generous pinch of salt. Place the bowl on a pot with boiling water to make a bain-marie. As the mixture melts, stir to combine. Add half a teaspoon of cinnamon. The mixture should look smooth and shiny. Remove from the heat and let cool. Guinness works so well with chocolate because its sweetness and bitterness intensify the taste of the chocolate. Measure out a cup of Guinness. The bonus is you have some left over for drinking, but don't drink it yet, you need more for the recipe. Pour the Guinness into a small pot along with a tablespoon of caster sugar. Bring to a boil, then turn down to low right away to prevent spilling. Simmer to reduce the liquid until you have about two tablespoons of syrup. Add three eggs and 90 grams of caster sugar to a medium-sized bowl. Caster sugar can be hard to find, especially in North America, but we have a video on how to make it. Beat until the mixture doubles in size, looks very pale, and is thick enough to leave a trail when you lift the beaters. Add the chocolate mixture and gently fold in. It's important to do it gently because you don't want to crush the air bubbles that give it a light consistency. Measure out a third of a cup of Guinness. Add the Guinness and fold in gently. Grease heat-proof ramekins with a little butter to prevent sticking. The number of ramekins you need depends on their size. Spoon in to fill about three quarters of the way full. Place the ramekins on a baking tray and refrigerate for an hour. Before the hour is up, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake for 18 minutes. Remove from the oven and let cool. Add a third of a cup of whipping cream and a half teaspoon of caster sugar to a small bowl. It's best to mix this small amount with a hand whisk. It only takes two minutes. If you get tired, take a sip of your Guinness, then continue. When the cream is ready and the pudding has cooled, top each one with a dollop of cream and some Guinness syrup. Don't worry, kids can eat these too. There's no alcohol left in the pudding, just amazing flavor. Now enjoy a little piece of heaven.